All right, very excited to be here today. Excited to be at SEMA, share with you, but I'm actually a little more excited about crossing the 20 miles walked number for this week. Anybody else walk more than 20 miles this week? Holy smokes. All right, so I get to see this right here. Okay, let me talk to you about three of my favorite things in the whole world. All right. The spicy chicken sandwich at Chick-fil-A. Trying on and buying new sneakers at Nordstrom, especially if they're AJ1s. If you don't know what AJ1s are, ask your kids. And fresh, hot, buttery popcorn. Okay, these are the three of my favorite things in the whole world. Now, these are products that are relatively simple, inexpensive, and they're really not that hard to do well or execute. In fact, thousands of companies provide chicken sandwiches and shoes and, and popcorn. And really, what makes them that special to the consumers? Well, three companies, Chick-fil-A, Nordstrom's, and ironically, Caliber Collision, okay, have actually been able to use these products, and they've really mastered the experience of these products, okay, the experience of them. Now, some of you are sitting there going, wait a second, Caliber, they don't make or sell popcorn, right? They do collision repair. In all transparency, I know this because I worked for them for 20 years, all right? And we implemented this idea of putting hot, fresh, salty, delicious popcorn in every lobby of every caliber collision. Now, why would we do that, okay? Why would we do that? Well, what's really important to understand about some of these products, like the chicken sandwich, shoes, and popcorn, is how they make people feel, okay? How they make people feel. And what these companies have done so well in selling these relatively simple products and services is again, how they've made the experience something very special and how they make it us feel about them, all right? Now, Chick-fil-A, Nordstrom's, and Caliber, they've really understood and they've really embraced and really mastered what we would call the value proposition, okay, the value proposition. And they've taken what is really a common experience, and in case of collision repair, an actually unlikable experience. And what they've done is they've turned it into something that's beloved, all right? What Chick-fil-A does with chicken sandwiches, they invite you to come into a very welcoming, clean you know, happy environment with employees that are all dressed alike, tucked in, smiling, having a great time. They're busting your table for you, and they're saying a key phrase. And what is that? Anybody know? You've all heard it if you've been Chick-fil-A. You get hand you their food, you say thank you, and what do they say? Anybody know? My pleasure, right? What they do for free, okay, is what sets them apart. And that's what this is all about. What we do for free sets us apart from our competitors. It's not what we're charging to do, okay? It's not collision repair. It's not the sandwich, not the shoes. It's what we're doing for free that's actually setting us apart and has definitely set these three companies apart and made them, you know, the leaders in their industries. At Nordstrom's, this is a 100-year-plus-old company, okay? They still believe in the servant model. You go into their shoe department, you don't have to find your own shoes. You don't have to go around, the, you know, look for the boxes and pull out your size and try them on. No, no, no. They still will get down on one knee and put the shoe on for you, an act of service. And Caliber understands, and we understood, implementing this popcorn into you know, close to 1,400 shops, that customers come into a body shop very skeptical scared, nervous, but as soon as they walk in that door and they smell that popcorn, boom, tensions go down, they start to calm down, they start to feel nostalgia, it's something that gives them peace of mind and calm to now go into this situation, hopefully being able to now trust us with what we're going to do. I talked about body shop and collision repair kind of being this unlikable experience. And that's the reality, right? It's an unlikable experience. People don't want to be there. They've had an accident. It's been very disruptive to their lives. 
And now they're coming to us very skeptical. One out of three motorists, when they come in, they don't trust what we're about to tell them. It's even worse with, with auto repair, okay? That's like two out of three consumers don't trust the mechanic. They don't trust the body shop, all right? So we're kind of unlikable. We're in a business where customers don't trust us, and the relationship and the transaction that we need to have with them is now kind of starting out skeptical. So in order to be not unlikable but now be loved, we have to be trusted. And our customers and our employees, which is even more important, need to know that you as an owner or an operator, you care more about them and their interests than you do your own. Okay? That's, that's what they got to believe. Now, there's a lot of talk about pricing and about what we're supposed to charge these days, and there's very smart, intelligent people in this room that could talk very elegantly about that, and it's really important, okay? Especially when you're looking at your overhead and your cost of goods and making sure you're being profitable, you have to charge the right thing. With that being said, though, when you build a business and a shop where people love you, and trust you, and are fanatical about what you do, it really doesn't even matter what you charge anymore. It doesn't. They're going to be happy to pay it because they want that experience every time. Now, here's the thing. I coach hundreds of shops all over the country. There's a lot of companies out there doing a lot of great things that are free. In the body shop, we're giving away rental cars, helping with deductibles, giving away cool T-shirts, popcorn. We're doing a lot of cool things. A lot of businesses do a lot of great free things, all right? And you could choose to do those too. But the reality is, is the majority of businesses and shops out there that I coach, they don't do them because they're lazy. They think, you know what? I do quality repairs. I give you a lifetime warranty. I'll treat you nice. I got a 4.6 Yelp review. How's that working out, okay? A lot of shops closing, a lot of people leaving the industry because they haven't figured out this value proposition. You've got to do more. You've got to do better. You've got to come up with something cool that's free to set yourself apart. The one thing that's free that you can give away that's cheaper than a lot of those things I just talked about is being caring, having compassion, and having a heart and a culture in your business of servant leadership. I work with a lot of companies, seen a lot of successful businesses, and really, it's this idea of servant leadership, okay, that really just means that the destiny of your business, okay, the destiny of your business is really not a matter of chance. You have to work to break your business, or you have to work to make it successful. It's not a matter of chance. It's a matter of choice determined by what you say, what you do, and whom you trust and whom trusts you. There's a common clue in a lot of successful businesses, especially the three that I talked about at the beginning, and that's that they've made the customer service experience, they've specifically catered it to the way people feel and the comfort level that they have coming into the business and leaving the business. So what is that number one free thing that you can use to grow your business? Well, it's kind of my big innovative idea, which happens to be probably the oldest idea, and that's the golden rule. Treat others as you want to be treated. We all want to trust and love and be passionate about the way we spend our money, whether it's on food or on shoes or especially in auto and collision repair. But it's up to us as the leaders in this industry to inspire our employees and our customers with what we do for free. Use every moment of every day to give something 
to someone else for free. It could be your time. It could be the love you have for what you do, your passion, and especially your resources, your resources of your experience, the knowledge you have, the wisdom you have in what you do in this business and in life. When you believe in what you do and you care and you're excited about your business, your employees and your customers ultimately will too. I'm Mike with ShopFix Academy. I coach and consult auto repair and collision owners all over the country. Would love to talk more with you about some of these ideas and the free stuff we could do to help make your business successful. Thank you.